We are so fortunate to live in Marin County's beautiful and diverse natural world. We love our redwood forests, our Mount Tam, the beaches, the wetlands, and all the hillsides and valleys between. We enjoy them. We want to protect them. But the truth is, right now the earth needs our help. Within only one year, while we struggled with the worst drought in nearly 130 years, an atmospheric rivers downpour gave us the wettest October in 130 years. Extremes are becoming the new normal. Wildfires, floods, scorching temperatures, sea level rise. Climate change is affecting our entire ecosystem. Birds, insects, wildlife, and plants are becoming out of sync. It's so formidable that the idea of combating it can seem overwhelming. Where do we start? One answer is right in our backyards. Gardeners are already fighting climate change and making a difference. They're planting milkweed to feed monarch butterfly caterpillars, building a bee box, removing an invasive plant, and more. And these small actions matter. By respecting and fostering all the connections in nature, gardeners are keeping our planet alive. We call this earth-friendly gardening. Earth-friendly gardening is rooted in the soil, in the ground beneath our feet. We nurture the soil to release nutrients to plants. Plants pull carbon from the air and send it into the soil through their roots. That's how healthy soil becomes a carbon storage bank. I build healthy soil in my garden by using compost and mulch. That's all I usually need. The combination feeds the soil with nutrients and beneficial microbes, protects it, keeps the weeds down, and helps retain moisture. I don't use pesticides or weed killers that can kill the microorganisms in the soil, endanger the wildlife, and harm beneficial insects. And before I understood this, my garden was okay, but when I used layers of compost and mulch to the soil, my garden got so much better, it came alive. Now it's filled with butterflies and birds. I lose less water, I no longer till the soil, and I can grow more type of plants in my garden than ever before. But today I choose plants with the environment outside my garden in mind too. Earth-friendly gardeners help our natural world flourish by choosing plants wisely. All wildlife, from insects to birds, even microorganisms, depend on a wide variety of plants. When we moved in some years ago to an almost barren hillside, we decided to create more than just a garden. We wanted to build a natural habitat, and we have. We concentrated on mostly native plants, and the established plants are surviving the drought with very little water, and they handle a wet winter too. Natives aren't entirely carefree, but are generally easy to care for. I prune the trees and shrubs to keep them spaced horizontally and vertically for fire safety, while being careful about bloom times and nesting birds. Butterflies, beneficial insects, our native birds like quail and hummingbirds, and all sorts of pollinators love my garden. I now think of my garden as a really biodiverse part of a wildlife habitat corridor. One out of every three bites of food you eat is available because of pollinators like bees, birds, bats, beetles, and small mammals. Today, a lack of feeding and nesting habitats is causing pollinators to decline. This is one area where earth-friendly gardeners can have an especially big impact. You know, I was always very careful to feed my son a variety of fruit and vegetables and not much candy. When I started learning about earth-friendly gardening, I realized it was the same thing. Our natural environment needs to be fed and cared for too. I use compost 
and mulch to feed the soil naturally. I grow much of my own food, which means it doesn't need to be transported. I compost what we don't eat and use drip irrigation so I don't waste any water. I let some vegetables bolt for the pollinators and also allow some flowers and shrubs to go to seed for the birds. I've also replaced many of my plants with native plants. Not all, but I consider plants that don't provide food or shelter for our native wildlife in much the same way I thought of candy for my son. My landscape used to be all decorative and now it has that candy only in moderation. Many of us have thought of landscape plants as decorations. Now is the time to reimagine our gardens as wildlife preserves. When we gardeners nurture and protect the soil, choose plants with care, conserve water and energy, and protect wildlife and the environment, we can help sustain our local ecosystems. We can fight climate change together, one garden at a time. It's a delicious responsibility. It's earth-friendly gardening. <laughs>